welcome back it is a new week it's a new month it's march 1st and i am really excited about the potential of this month um, over february i gained a pound i don't want to talk about it but i feel good i feel fine and today is jumping off a solid seven days of very extreme low carb eating and i'm going to show you a little bit of groceries that I have and meal prep that I'm doing this morning to set me up for success this week. I did go to the grocery actually last night and I, Ian's over here eating blueberries. <laughs> I picked up some things that I personally wanted. Um, I picked up a Stoke coffee. Now this does have carbs in it, but I never drink the full 12 ounces. I maybe drink half of that. And yeah, it includes a lot of added sugars, but this is kind of, I probably actually won't even drink that this week. I got it because I had a coupon from Stoke for a free coffee and it expired yesterday. So I went ahead and got it, but I'm probably not gonna drink any coffee this week. I'm gonna primarily focus on water. I got raspberries, some salami, cause I already have pepperoni. It's quick bacon, this is so good. And some sausage that I'm actually about to cook up and prep for this week. Over here I have some um, stir fry steak strips I'm gonna probably eat on tonight and maybe in a couple days. I'm gonna meal prep that up. And then I also have eggs boiling. All right, cute little puppy shot. I have my steak strips cooked and I'm cooking my sausage now. Hello guys, I made a dedication to film all this week and I'm just going to tell you right now, I ended a 39 hour fast today so I didn't film what I ate yesterday because I didn't eat anything yesterday. I did the meal prep um, and I ended my fast today with a Chick-fil-A Cobb salad. I will go ahead and start a picture right here of it. Um, it was really, really good. It was low carb. I get the... Um, avocado lime ranch dressing i use the whole packet because i love it it's worth the calories <laughs> and then i get um usually shredded nuggets i can get but they put a shredded grilled filet of chicken in it which was fine and then i had water that's all i've had today um so i'm about to make dinner it is taco tuesday and i'm gonna have myself a really yummy yummy taco salad and I'm really excited about it. I do have some extreme carb wellness or extreme wellness wraps that I'm gonna put in and see like how many carbs is because I'm still trying to stay under a certain amount of carbs and a certain amount of calories every day. So, but I will show you guys dinner. All right, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, I've got dinner going for me and Ian. I'm gonna make a second onion burger. But I went ahead and cooked up, this is over a pound of 73 27 beef and I'm just gonna meal prep this into taco meat and eat on it for the rest of the week I was gonna just put it in the freezer but I'm like what's the point so meal prepping that <laughs> this was my dinner today I ate these ranch uh, quest protein chips added all of the things to my rather large taco salad I'm out in my graduate freezer and I actually just wanted to show you what I picked up today. I finally found the mint chocolate chunk keto enlightened ice cream. I am so, so excited. Um, I love, I love mint. I don't necessarily love mint and chocolate together, but I figured I would give this a try. It's definitely not too bad. So I'm probably going to maybe try this tomorrow. I'm done eating for tonight because I'm going to fast. Um, but I'm excited to try this and I'll probably do a taste test this week with this. The number one thing, you guys must stay hydrated. I started my morning with this huge glass of ice water. This is our day. We're going to take care of all of this. And I'm actually going to fast all day, so we're going to grill later, and we're going to go get some steaks. Um, so I'll bring you guys along for all of that later. <laughs> and Ian got his hair cut. Can I see your hair cut? Yesterday. You love it? I 
after all of the yard work we decided that we were going to go ahead and go on and grill today and we took ian with us to the butcher shop it was ian's first time ever going in and he was just amazed at all of the meat he even picked out his own hot dog he wanted for supper I actually just went to the store. Sorry, our garage lights open, so there's a glare. I just went to the store to pick some, up some things because we decided that we were going to grill. So I picked up some stadium brats. Um, I know Uncle Tyler's probably going to have a few of these. They had my Enlightened Cookies and Cream ice cream on clearance for a dollar. Y'all, when in the world have you been able to snag Enlightened for a dollar so i had to get one and then i saw that there's this bird's eye riced cauliflower meal and i wanted to try it um total carb 15 fiber 5 17 protein so got that to try i finally saw some just halloumi in store and this is like my favorite thing in the entire world so i got some I picked up a Caesar salad cut for us eating on this week. And then I've heard really good things about these Trulies. I figured I'd give it a try. And then I got some fresh broccoli because I'm going to eat some steak and broccoli tonight. And maybe a couple like hard boiled eggs. And then I went to GNC. And I'm going to show you my GNC stash. Let me get this stuff in the fridge real quick and then I'll show you my GNC, GNC stash. Okay, so here is my little GNC haul. I went in specifically to look for this and this. And then I found some other hidden treasures as well. The first thing I picked up was this Outright Bar. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is being like discontinued or almost expired or something. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it's good through... I'll figure it out, but I'll probably eat this tomorrow. And then I've had the white cranberry. It's really, really good. And then I went looking for this because I saw this on the Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I have to try that. And then I picked up a uh, cookies and cream Alani New Bar. And then I also picked up some fun things here. This is the Fit Shake by Alani New in the fruity cereal. I saw they have this Arctic White. I didn't see this the last few times I've been there. I wanted to try that. And then I picked up the Breeze Berry. So I'm really, sorry, even you hear Annie's playing outside. <laughs> I'm really, really excited about all of these fun new goodies to try. I'm so excited. Update on the Truly. I poured it out because I didn't even swallow it. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. Ugh. So Seth seasoned our ribeyes with just some salt and pepper. And then we also got two large chicken breasts for the family. We threw on some brats as well and Ian's hot dog. I cooked some broccoli up and then we sauteed some onions and mushrooms in butter. Here's all our food and Uncle Tyler also made some baked beans. This is my plate, Ian's plate. He loved his hot dog. <laughs> um, extreme low carb and look at that steak. Good morning. Well, <laughs> Good evening. Happy Thursday. Um, I just felt like doing breakfast today. I did end up fasting for around 22 or 23 hours today. I'm just cooking some bacon and pre-cooked sausage that I prepped up um, Monday and some butter. This is what we have. My favorite keto low-carb bread and some cheesy scrambled goodness with some fruit and i made it at 10 percent carbs today okay it is friday it's friday already Ian and i just got back from target i'm gonna show you guys what i got as well as a couple things i got from walmart yesterday don't mind my my mask line here are the things that i got i also got other things but it's like muffins for ian a couple decor pieces um from the dollar spot at target 
but primarily on this channel I'm going to share what I'm eating and I'm buying and all that stuff. So at Walmart yesterday I picked up these complete cookies. I wasn't actually going to get them but I forgot to put them away and Ian helped me unload the cart. It is a four count for $5.98. These things are over $2 for just one, so they'll get eaten. Some Parmesan wisp that I'm actually going to have with dinner tonight. I'm going to do chicken Caesar salads. And then I picked up two of these Slim Fast Ketos. Sorry if the dog starts barking, the mailman is here. Um, I picked up the Fat Bomb replacement bar in Frosted Cinnamon Bun. And then the Fat Bomb Snack Bar Minis in Strawberry Topped Cheesecake. These were expensive. I knew that these were $9.98. I didn't know these were $9.98. I thought these were like $6.98. <sighs> anyway, I got them. I hope I like them. We just got back from Target. So I picked up staples. Um, I always get the cauliflower gratin anytime that I go to Target, as well as the avocado toast chopped salad kit. And then the rotisserie chicken salad is like my absolute favorite thing in the entire world. Like these things are so, so good. I got some finely shredded Parmesan cheese for the Caesar salads tonight as well as I'm going to make chicken Parmesan in a few days. Yeah, this should be good for a while. I'm not sure how long it lasts when it's open, but hopefully at least a week or, or so. And then I finally bit the bullet and bought some bangs. I bought the birthday cake bash and the cotton candy. I'm gonna give those, a, I might do a taste test with these um, this weekend, but this is everything and I will see you guys at dinner. Um, and I'm still doing OMAD. I've actually done, this will be the third day in a row I've done it. I didn't plan on doing it. Yeah, I didn't plan on doing OMAD. I have never, it's never really crossed my mind because I always eat with Ian and Seth and we just always eat together. Um, but Seth has actually been working the last couple of days, you know, or I've just not eaten um, when they eat. But I'm actually really, really enjoying it. And the rule that I've made myself is if I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. Like, I will break my fast and I will eat. But I've just, I've not been hungry because I'm making sure I'm eating enough. Okay, it's almost 4.30 and I'm actually getting hungry. I've been fasting since, I believe six o'clock yesterday. So I'm actually getting kind of hungry. This is everything for dinner. These actually expire today. But I think they're going to be okay. I'm going to use three today and three tomorrow. Because I'm going to make like steak, quesadilla, fajita things. So I'm going to use those. They should be fine. And then I'm, me and Ian are going to have this. He loves Caesar salad. I'm going to have everything in this except for the garlic croutons. And I'm going to add bacon, and extra cheese, grilled chicken, parmesan wisps. I'm going to cook the bacon and chicken in some butter now just to heat it up and then it's going to be a quick easy supper. So in here I have five ounces of chicken and a little over three tablespoons, probably four tablespoons of bacon and butter. Ian will not eat this so I'm just going to salt pepper this um, and then assemble our salads. I don't know if I should like heat this in the microwave. I'll probably heat these in the skillet when I'm done with this and then I'll show you dinner. I made a little like taco here. I tried a bit of it by itself not bad. I think I'm gonna buy these again because they're zero carb because they're just egg. But I'm gonna give this a try. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
That's really good. I'm so excited about dinner. Mm. I fasted for 22 and a half hours today. Which is still good. Do you like yours? Mm hmm? Mm hmm. Is it thumbs up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are actually on a hike today. Whoa! <laughs> Daddy! I didn't go as planned, but Grandma and Aaron, we came out to Lake of the Woods. We're gonna get some walking on today. Is later I'm red I'm tired we went on like an hour and a half walk well we actively walked for about 45 minutes but we were gone walking around and stuff for like an hour and a half I haven't eaten yet today so the boys are gonna order Monocle's pizza and I'm gonna have hot wings and salad so I'm gonna show you my so dinner looks like when it's all done and I'm gonna do the wings in the air fryer. So here are my wings, salt and pepper and just some um, Pam spray on there. These at 20 minutes at 380 and actually I'll try 18 and then I'll look at them. I'll check it and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna use hot sauce and some salad. And I think I already said that. But I did get wings from the butcher as well. All right, they are done. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. How good do those look? I think they're done. I might put them in for a couple more minutes to get them crispy at a really high temperature. Other than that, yum. Okay, they just finished. And I had set them in at, I think, 390. And I'm going to toss them in hot sauce now. And then eat them, because I'm excited. So now I'm going to take my wings and I'm just going to toss them in this bowl. Oh, and all the grease just came out. Let's try that again, shall we? Wings. Bowl. Pour. <laughs> I'm going to take your bottom off, people. And then I'm just going to add some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Let's get you guys up this way. I'm so and I'm just, I'm just gonna add some. I'm not gonna measure it out because this stuff is, yeah, zero calories and zero carb. It's just hot sauce. That's about it. Okay, just a little bit of garlic powder, just like a smidge, because I like garlic hot wings a lot. Then I'm gonna take my happy toys and toss some up, y'all. Oh, you guys. <sighs> like, look at those wings, guys. They're crispy, they're hot, they're garlicky. I am ready to eat. Seth is on his way home with the boys' pizza. And I'm just gonna say, because I love this pizza, I'm gonna have the tiniest piece. Mostly salad and wings here. So excited. So here is my plate. I had my wings, half of a breadstick, couple pieces of pizza, couple strawberries, and this huge yummy salad with eggs, bacon, cheese, and ranch. I also had a Mountain Dew Zero as a little treat today, and the boys had pizza. 
Hi guys and happy Sunday. This is dinner. I did three egg life wraps, a bowl of the raspberries, blackberries, and Lily's chocolate peanuts, some steak, some cheese, and some onions. And you guys, this is so good. I fasted for 23 hours. It is after dinner and I I'm calling it like a cheese steak. It was delicious. So, so good. I'm going to do a little recap over my week. So, Monday I did not eat anything and I fasted. I ate Tuesday after a 39 hour fast. And then I did between 22 and 24 hour fasts for the rest of the week. And yeah. I feel great. I feel amazing. Um, I'm going to do my final weigh-in tomorrow morning. So technically it will be Monday. So I started on Monday and I'll end it on Monday with my weigh-in. Um, I pretty much ate one meal a day on Wednesday through today. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Five days I did OMAD. And like I said at the beginning... I didn't plan on eating OMAD. I wanted to just do extreme low carb. And you guys, I went from 210 on Monday to 201. And I actually hit 200 yesterday. And I'm 201 today, so I'm expecting to be 201, 202, possibly 200 tomorrow. It just depends on what happens over the next, you know, um, course of the night so yeah i will do a final way in tomorrow i want to thank you guys so so much for watching please let me know if you do keto omad how you feel what you do how often that you do omad i belong to a facebook group and i asked i asked i'm like how often do you guys do it and a lot of people said every day um i like the way i feel my problem is i have a lot of like um, keto snacks and like quest bars and built bars so I'm like well how I'm not going to do OMAD every day because I need to eat that stuff because I spent money on it but if I can like incorporate it I don't know I'll figure it out but anyway I'll see you guys um, in the morning for the final weigh-in all right guys I am doing my weigh-in it is a Monday and I haven't eaten yet we are at 201.6 i'll take it i'm gonna end this video i lost 8.6 pounds this week in like seven days that's so crazy thank you guys so much for all the love and support you've shown me on instagram and thanks for watching